What is up gamers, RC Styles here with another week of Fortnite challenges. This week we are getting into the mastermind of Spies himself. This is Midas' mission. Well, first, before I go ahead and do the Midas introduction, let's do a recap of all the agents that we've worked on so far this season, starting here with Brutus. The next person we had was TN Tina. After that, we had the privilege of playing as Meowsles, or as he's been commonly known nowadays, Meowskles. Still get a kick out of that video. Then, of course, over the last two weeks, we got to learn about and do the missions for Sky. And this week, we get to not only meet, but learn something very interesting about Now, in my personal opinion, that makes me feel like we've been working for the big bad this whole time. That makes me feel like Midas has been the evil boss guy that you would find in every James Bond movie. I could be wrong. Now, of course, as every character, at some point, you will get to choose whether or not you want Midas to be Ghost or Shadow. And as I've been saying before, I am doing all shadow characters. Uh, one thing interesting I also want to note here on this list right here is that we do not have Agent Peely or Deadpool listed amongst them. Now I have received word, and I'm sure most of you all have too as well, that Fortnite Season 2 is going to be extended by a month. And that could actually change. We could have Deadpool listed amongst those agents and given specific tasks just like them. Same for Agent Peely. There's still rumored that Agent Peely is going to be having a Deadpool costume come out. Uh, one thing that is not rumor, and I will get to as we close out this video in regards to Deadpool, is X-Force. Again, I will touch on that soon. But first, let's go ahead and go down these challenges. Now, my list I'm going to read off is different than the one that's right in front of us on our screen right now uh, and, and as far as order is concerned I'm gonna read these off and then I'm gonna tell you which battle mode that I'm going to use in order to try to complete these challenges as fast as possible first up we're gonna search chests in different name locations usually with those I go for solos because I can work by myself and not have a whole lot of distractions uh, plus, as of late, it seems like you're running into more bots than actual players, so it gives you a lot of leeway to be able to achieve your challenges quickly and easily. Next up, you want to deal damage to players with a sniper rifle. Uh, you're looking for about 300 damage here. Uh, usually for damage with weapons matches, I go into Team Rumble. There, you know, you get a lot of opportunities and a lot more chances for kills. And you can do multiple matches and these still tend to rack up. 
Uh, you want to upgrade a weapon to legendary rarity at an upgrade bench. Again, I would suggest doing this in Team Rumble because you start off with a bunch of materials right off the bat. Uh, nine times out of ten, you can turn a blue weapon into purple right away. In this case, you would just have to farm a few more mats, and then you can turn a purple weapon directly into gold, which is what your legendary weapons are. Uh, next up, you want to... Search a llama, legendary chest, or supply drop. Now you can do these in any mode. Uh, I'm probably going to do this in Team Rumble. Uh, reason being is I have a lot better chances of coming across the uh, loot chest that drops. And uh, I come across those a lot more than I do legendary chests or llamas. And then, of course, I come across the legendary chests more often than I do llamas. So, again, I suggest doing that in Team Rumble. Next, we're going to deal damage to a chopper with a passenger or pilot inside. Now, we all know you can't do this in Team Rumble. It's going to be a solos mission or duos or squads, depending on whether or not you got some people to help you out on that one. Again, I'm going to be doing that one on solos myself. Uh, next up, we're going to be collecting XP coins. We've been doing this all throughout the season. Uh, this can be done in either solos, duos, squads, or even Team Rumble. I've come across them haphazardly more often in Team Rumble than any other mode. Although, there may be maps out there that pinpoint exact locations that will make it easier for you to do in solos. Next up, we're going to be carrying a giant pink teddy bear found in Risky Reels, 100 meters. Now, I have not been in game yet, so I can't tell you if you can find the teddy bears in Team Rumble. So, I will personally be going for this mission in solos. You want to search Midas's Gold Llama between a junkyard, gas station, and an RV campsite. Um, usually with the bosses and stuff like that, you have to be in solos, duos, or squads in order to trigger them and have them be available. I am going to assume that in order to do this challenge, you're going to want to be in one of those modes. Um, it's really not going to be that hard to figure out where this is. I'm not going to tell you right now where I believe it is. Uh, at the risk of being wrong and having a bunch of people be like, Hey man, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't, not yet. So after that, we're going to gather intel during spy game operations matches. So far, the only operations match that I'm aware of being able to gather intel in is drop zone unless they are planning on adding another, one, another mode or they have already and I just haven't noticed it. And then our last challenge for this week is going to be earn survival combat or scavenger gold medals for me i'm going to be doing this team rumble all the way again because you can rack up kills you can take your time searching things and you're you're easily going to get those gold medals there over any other place and again that's just my opinion you can go online and find maps for some of these hard to figure out challenges. Uh, my advice for you, uh, a, a common source that I've used in the past has been Forbes. A secret challenge I want to touch on. We have been doing the teddy bear versus gnomes thing this whole season. And this week is no different. If you return back to the teddy bear headquarters, or also known as the Deadpool Bunker in Weeping Woods, you will find that there has been a battle that has taken place. And you will find that all the teddy bears are now behind bars. This mission, if you choose to accept it, revolves around helping the teddy bears out. In order to do that, what you want to do is you want to open the jail cell and you want to talk to the teddy bear laying on the floor like a bearskin rug. And the rest of the is self-explanatory from there. As I said earlier, we are going to talk on and touch on some Deadpool stuff before we even do the Deadpool video tomorrow. For a visual aid, let me hop in here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and select my Deadpool. Matter of fact, let me do it here. It'll be a little easier for me. To select our Deadpool, we're going to go in here and then we're going to go to where we're going to change his outfit. Deadpool is next week of challenges starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern for us. And if you crawl right here, you can change his color. Where are we unlocking tomorrow? X-Force style Deadpool. 
and yes he will be available without the mask as well will that be all part of tomorrow or will they extend that into another week i do not have the answer for that one but this is most definitely being unlocked tomorrow at least the mask x4 style deadpool which will also bring a pm eastern time tomorrow as it normally does for me and may be different for you we will be getting our new items tomorrow at 10 a.m. around the same time that the Deadpool challenges will be dropping as we know we are getting X-Force style Deadpool skin so I am pretty much going to go out on a limb because it's already been confirmed as being leaked that we are getting an X-Force bundle pack which consists of Psylocke, Domino, and Cable uh, various back blings and a glider uh, I personally am going to be going for the entire bundle on that one. I understand it to be at about 2,000 V-Bucks. As you see, I got 2,250. So I am all set. I also am to understand that this is going to be a pretty big shop tomorrow morning because all three sections are reloading at that time. As you can see, I say at all three sections, but right now you can only see two. I'm being led to believe that there's going to be three sections. Now, normally I would leave you with stupid dances, but I really have a hard time finding one that's stupid. So, here's the moves that are in the shop tonight at the time that I am filming the Midas Challenge Overview. Uh, nothing that we haven't really seen before. If anything constitutes as a stupid dance, it would be this. And I'll touch on that in a second. You all love the dance. Here's the music. It's the second time in the shop, and it's a very, very quickly turnaround that it's been in the shop. You can grab it for 200. It is the Paws and Claws music, or I'm a Cat track for your lobby music. I picked this up. And I also picked up what we're going to call our stupid dance for the week, even though I have a hard time entirely putting this under the stupid dance category. And with that, gamers, I am going to close out this overview video. Be sure to come back and join us again tomorrow as we go over our Deadpool challenges. And I may very possibly be showing off my new X-Force bundle. And as always, I'll be seeing you.